Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we'll be taking a look at a disgustingly easy trophy deck to use right now in Clash Royale for pushing on ladder. Right here is a 3.9 Elixir, Elixir Golem Earthquake Barbarian Hunt Beatdown deck, super Easy to use, guys. Literally a brainless strategy. Uh, Battle Healer, E Golem go so well together. Barbarian Hut, very strong on defense. And then you have the Earthquake in there to destroy all of your enemies' buildings. This deck in particular has been exploding in popularity, especially over the past two days, as you can see by this graph over here. And the win rates are very, very strong as well, guys. Such a, uh, a good strategy right now in Clash Royale. Once again, feel free to support me, guys, with Creator Code Chain in your shop. Before buying Pass Royale or special offers or gems, make sure you have Code Chain in your shop before doing so. It costs you nothing extra, and is a great way to help support me and the channel and I greatly appreciate anyone willing to use Critical Shane in their shop. All right, let's go ahead guys, jump into our first battle over here. See what we can do against Mr. Black Wolf up top there. No Barbarian Hunt in a starting hand, which is always the ideal uh, opener, but thankfully he does, he goes uh, Furnace there, which for a moment I thought I missed. Thankfully not though. That's all right by me. And... We bar barrel that. Gonna have a Valkyrie Furnace deck, potentially graveyard candidate happening right now. We shall see. Two Barbarian shots there. Doing okay here, but I do predict it's gonna be something with something. Let's go. Nice, let's go. So that Natal there, I don't like it. But what it did was keep the e Dragon alive. His Musketeer went down, which uh, I wasn't expecting, to be honest, when he, when he, when he had E-Wizard in there. But the NATO pulled the Musketeer closer towards my um, my Battle Healer, retargeting her. So that's kind of cool. Earthquake this again. Boom, bada, boom, bada, bing. We should get some more Barbarians popping out of our Barbarian Hut here. It poisons that chest. We're definitely okay with that. So we got a good lead here so far. Just playing defense, playing passively. Nothing crazy happening yet. Not going to Barbarrel that, though. Now, see what my friend is rocking here. The problem with the Musketeer is that we don't have a Lightning Spell or Fireball to deal with her. So she can get some good work done with that long range of her. She's actually got a decent range uh, and decent damage per second as well, so... No, I do not want to go, uh, I do not want to go Eagle on here on the right, because he's got Barbarians on his deck. And we got to be very, very careful about pushing into Barbarians with the Elixir Golem. So instead, we're going to go, uh, e Dragon here on the right, see if we can get another Furnace from him soon. He's going to go Furnace left lane probably this time. Because it'd be crazy to go the same lane again. There's that. Barbarrel this. Nato this back here. There we go. Barbarians popping out. And now we just play some more defense. Gonna go Eagle him here. Belly Heal to support that. My main plan, my main strategy right now is go double dragon and then NATO everything together. The power of the double Ds is too much for him to handle. And go D here. D here. Nato this together here. Barbell this jazz. Earthquake all this jazz this. There we go. He's gonna go Barbarian. No, bar he's gonna go Valkyrie there. Okay. I'm okay with that. So the Eagle gets the tower, guys, and within literally just that easy, the tower goes down. We have ourselves a one crown victory. So he couldn't go Barbarians there because we had too much support. And that's the thing, guys. That's the very important thing there. Is we didn't go Eagle like aggressively at the bridge by itself. Because obviously Eagle him, Battle Killer push, which is data barbarians. So instead I went slow uh, Eagle and push. Got both dragons down, and that way, whatever he went uh, on defense, we would just go um, NATO, pull it together, and then the dragons together plus the barbell can get through the barbarians. But by themselves, you cannot. So, very important that you set up the, the push that way against that matchup. But we'll see. Ex oh, Executioner. Executioner is not a card you typically want to see when using a, a barbarian hut. Ooh, that's going to be a baby D. 
So that barb has to go down, guys, to the, ba the balloon. But the baby D is gonna dest not destroy the uh, executioner. Is gonna be a very, very effective counter against my deck here, guys. Not cool at all, man. There we go. So I'm not really too concerned about the miner there, guys. I'm mostly concerned about that uh, P.E.K.K.A. there, so. We'll defend that first. Thank you, thank you. And then the banner's gonna tear through everything there, guys. I'm gonna get a, ah, I don't like that baby D there, guys. Banner's still gonna dash, and then the Executioner is not within tower range. I'm gonna take a Balloon Shot here, I'm gonna go NATO to my King Tower. Is the ideal play here, because the E-Dragon is not enough to destroy it. Actually, it probably would've been enough to destroy it. Should've just went E-Dragon, that's okay. We can be fine. So, Packet Balloon Executioner, guys. Very, very nasty for this matchup. Because Executioner destroys the Barbarian Hut. We don't have any Swarmy cards for the P.E.K.K.A. And just overall kind of a nastier matchup for us. So, we shall see. Do we shall see. Let's do one of these. He's going to poison that. I'm going to go E-Dragon here. He's got no buildings in his deck for the uh, thing to get value against. Battle Healer here, Barbarian here. Let's go. Come on, one more of these. One more E Dragon here, please. We got a massive push, guys. This is the biggest push we've seen in my career. Nato the Executioner out of angle there. So he can't, like, get everything all in one axe. And that should be GG's, guys. That should be G to the G's. The double G's, the double G's. Okay, pull that villain away. Battle healer this. So, moral of the story there, guys, is even if they, if they, even if they have execution, you can still win. Uh, obviously, execution destroys, like, when you get a push like that going on, E Golem, uh, Dragon's behind it, the execution destroys it very easily. But it's important to have the battle healer there to heal things up. But also to use that NATO to disorient, if you will, their executioner. So what I did there was I pulled his executioner back, which kind of like ruined his angle of attack against my army. And that way uh, it wasn't attacking everything at once. It was only attacking half my army. And also like the whole, you know, double eagle and push one eagle down to here. By the, by the time it gets up to here, you already have another eagle going down. Can be very hard to stop even for a um, even for a uh, executioner. So this is gonna be hog. Yep. Okay. Hoggy woggy it is. Shoot. Just soak that ah that bats man ah bats ah yeah stupid bats guys that's insane damage. I should have just went e dragon there a baby d or something. Yeah bats. If I would have had zap it would have been different but. Ugh. That's a lot of damage, and I don't prefer it. Not worthy of the King Tower activation, that's for sure. Battle Healer, I choose you. Okay. Barbarian to the left, a mini pack on new. If he's got lightning spell, guys, we're legitimately dead here. Nice, let's go. If this guy has lightning spell, he's gonna have a hard counter for us. If he is rocking lightning spell. Not confirmed yet, but if he does have lightning spell, we're dead. Guaranteed. Certified dead sauce. Do you guys know what he was trying to do right there? Does anyone here raise your hand if you knew what he was trying to do? Do you guys know what he was trying to do there, guys, on the right? He was trying to activate his king tower, but he failed. Stevie. Mr. Stevenson. Sir? The answer is no. Baby D, baby D. I said go, baby D. Let's go. Let's go. Just want to kill that uh, musketeer there, guys. That's all. Nice. Should have used that barbell a bit over to the left there, but... Musketeer is nasty versus this deck, guys. She's very, very effective against decks like these. 
because of her ability to uh, long range snipe basically everything and assassinate your battle healer. Basically. Alright, let's start going Eagle I'm here, guys. Start getting that push going on here, baby. We need it now. We need it now. We good? Okay. Do one of these. Missed that tower? Did I miss that tower? How did I miss that tower? Dude, I'm so newbie. How? How did I miss the tower? Somebody tell me how. Am I literally that noob? But the eagle is insane! Guys, literally. I played that battle so bad. And we still, we still won. I played that battle so bad. We still won. Well, like I said before, guys, this deck is brainless to use. I played it so bad, and we still made it happen. Two eaglems, they can't, they can't do anything. Two eaglems is insane. Like, he outplayed me the entire battle there. But just go eaglem down here. Another eaglem, battle healer. Bada boom, bada bing. Make it happen. Sir, I see you got some bats. Last battle, they destroyed me. I would appreciate if they didn't... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I do not want to see an earthquake. I said a no, a no, a no, no, no. I said a no, a no, a no, no, no. I said a no, a no, a no, no, no. A no, 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 no. I said a no. He's going to have Mini P.E.K.K.A. too. It's going to be Mini P.E.K.K.A. Hog Earthquake or Royal Hogs. Mini P.E.K.K.A. Hog Earthquake or Royal Hogs. Yep. Told y'all. I'm not incorrect a lot of times. But sometimes I am. Nice ice golem there, buddy. So, we don't know what the piggy is yet. Or if it's the, uh, the single piggy. Just the piggy, not piggies. Just the singular piggy. So, the Earthquake is not cool, man. It's going to destroy my Barbarian Hut pretty nicely. The Magic Archer we have no effective answer for on uh, offense. So, it's going to get some good value against our uh, Barbarians. In fact, the Magic Archer is going to be very difficult to deal with this battle here. So, I predict it's going to be an annoying battle overall. With just annoying stuff happening the entire game here. You know what I'm saying? That mini P.E.K.K.A is still alive, guys. Dude, the freaking mini P.E.K.K.A is insane! The mini P.E.K.K.A is so insane! Place your bets right now, guys. Guys and girls. Do you think mini P.E.K.K.A is getting nerfed in the next update? Do you think yes or no? Mini P.E.K.K.A nerf happening, yes or no? What do you guys think? What do y'all think, guys? Mini P.E.K.K.A nerf, yes or no? Is it happening? It's insane. I kind of hope they don't nerf it because I love using it. It's a cool card. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was nerfed, to be honest. Just would not surprise me in the slightest, guys. So one of these. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What you got, buddy? The benefit that we have here is him having Earthquake in his deck. Yes, it's a hard counter for a Barbarian Hut, but it means he's got no answer for the big beefy push. So because he had Earthquake in there, guys, um, because he had Earthquake in there, like, yeah, I could destroy a Barbarian Hut, but he had no answer for when we got all of our pieces of our puzzle down. Once we had Eagle and Double Dragons down, like, there's no way he can stop it fast enough, right? Without a Lightning Spell or, or, or you know, Rocket in there, Lightning Spell destroys this deck so well. If you face Lightning Spell, it's a lot harder to win. But uh, with that matchup, like once you get in double period, once you get the Eagle I'm down, uh, very, very hard for them to stop that. But that's two basically the same battles in a row. Yeah. That's insane, dude. This deck's insane overall. We'll do one more battle here, guys. Keep it going, keep it going. Uh, and then we shall do something else. AKA end the video, probably. Oh, you got the emote. Cool. Me too. 
By the way, everyone asking me, it takes 48 hours to be delivered. Up to 48 hours, maybe longer. I guess some people are always saying like, Hey Shin, I just did your tournament. I don't have the email yet. Where is it? I'm like, dude, up to 48 hours, maybe longer. Sir. Sir, sir, sir. If I go Barbarian HUD here, are you going to counter me? Please don't go right lane anything. Please. <laughs> don't do that, I said. Don't do that, I said, and you didn't listen. So, oh, it's going to be Lava Hound. No. Sir. Sir. If this is Lava Lightning, guys, we're literally dead. If this is Lava Hound Lightning Spell, we are legitimately certified dead sauce. Not even exaggerating. If it's Fireball, Fireball Zop, we have a chance. If it's Lightning Spell, we're dead. Okay. Nice, there we go. Go, Barbarian, go. There we go. Okay. So we do, in fact, have the chance that I was referring to earlier. But now that he's going Lava Hound push, it's going to be hard to stop. We only have two dragons here as aerial defense. If he goes balloon right lane, this lane, that's left lane, then we be dead. Oh, yeah, we be dead. Okay, I see ya. Come on, kill the balloon, please. The double Ds are too strong, guys. The double Ds are too strong. Sir. Sir. Surprised he's not going balloon left lane yet. Eagle and blocks all that jazz. Yeah, buddy. I don't think you're going to break through, to be honest, dude. It's a good try. But I honestly don't think you're breaking through here. So the fact that he's got Fire Apple and not Lightning Spell gives, gives us a huge chance to win this battle. If it was Lightning Spell, I can guarantee we would have lost. Because, like, there's no way to protect your dragons against Lightning Spell. But, um... Yeah, because it was Fireball, we basically won. Very, very unfortunate for him that he had Fireball uh, instead of Lightning Spell. That's just the way it goes. If he had Lightning Spell, we would have lost probably, but overall, um, fairly easy battle. Uh, I'm still surprised he didn't go Balloon left lane. You know, like when you have the Double Dragons down, plus the Nato, you can't really break past that without Lightning Spell. So I would, I, I would have suggested to him going like Lava Hound right lane. As soon as I go, you know, one of my things, you know, baby dragon, then I go, then go balloon left lane, you know, but I guess I could have nadoed it anyway. So overall, pretty good push here, guys. We got uh, this deck, Graveyard Down. We got Bakis, we got Steve, Pedro, and Puko. Did I say those wrong? I apologize if I did. Um, but anyways, guys, that will be the end of the video. Uh, here's the deck one more time. If you want to go ahead and give it a shot yourself. Very, very solid deck in Clash Royale. 3.9 average elixir. Super easy to use. Literally super easy. Just, you know, place the eagle -um, Place Battle Healer. Get your dragons down. Go one more eagle -um, Get two eagle -ums down. Nader all their defense together. Uh, and then if they have buildings, you Earthquake it. They have Swarm, you Barbarrel it. But the Battle Healer keeps everything alive. The dragons destroy everything. The Nader destroys everything as well. Very, very strong deck, guys. It only really loses to, like, things that have Lightning Spell in there or Rocket uh, or Three Musketeers. It's very hard to beat with this deck because of not having a heavy spell. But overall, give it a try, guys. Let me know how it goes for you. Once again, you can't support me if you want to by throwing a critical chain into your shop. Uh, just make sure you do so before you buy anything out of your shop. And uh... But anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, some Clash Royale content. Thank you for watching. We shall see you in the next one.